Hey guys, and welcome to today's Science Read Aloud with Miss G. Today we have a great book called Animal Spikes and Spines. Let's take a close look at the picture on the cover and think to ourselves, what might we learn about these animals? Turn and tell someone next to you or think out loud what you might be learning. Right, we're probably going to learn all about different animals that use spikes and spines as a defense. Are you ready to read on and learn all we can about spikes and spines? Remember, as we read, we're going to learn by looking closely at the pictures and thinking about what the words are teaching us. Let's go. Animal Spikes and Spines by Rebecca Risman. Animal Body Parts Animals have different body parts. Some body parts help animals get around. Body parts such as legs and feet help animals run. Body parts such as flippers and fins help animals to swim. Some body parts help animals sense the world. Animals use their eyes to see. Animals use their ears to hear. Animals use their noses to smell. Animals use their mouths to taste. So before I read on, I'm going to look back at the pictures Think about what I saw in the pictures and what I read in the words to help me understand what I'm learning about animals. So we just read that body parts help animals in all kinds of ways. Body parts such as feet and legs help animals move and run. Body parts such as eyes, ears, noses help animals sense the world around them. All of these different structures help animals survive. Let's read on. Why do animals have different body parts? Animals have different body parts to help them survive. Animals live in different habitats. Animals have body parts that help them to live in their habitat. Some animals are predators or hunters. Their body parts help them to catch prey to eat. Some animals are prey. Other animals hunt them. Their body parts help them to stay safe. So looking back at the page with the giraffe and the page with the frog, I'm learning that animals have different defenses to help them survive. Some animals are hunted by other animals or even people, and they need defenses to help them survive. Some animals are hunters and they have structures to help them catch food. As we keep reading, we're going to stop and think about what we're learning all about these animals. Ready to fight. Some body parts help animals to fight. Some animals use horns to fight. Horns grow from animals' heads. Antelope use their horns to fight other antelope. Some animals use beaks to fight. Beaks grow on birds' heads. Beaks can be sharp. Beaks can be strong. Herons use their beaks to peck at other herons and other animals. So look back at what we just read about horns and birds. The way that these animals, like antelope, use their horns to fight, or birds use beaks. Turn and tell someone how they use these structures to fight. Right, so they use those horns and beaks to help them fight, and that's one way they can survive. Some animals use antlers to fight. Antlers grow from animals' heads. Antlers are very hard. Moose sometimes use their antlers to fight other moose to see who is stronger.
Some animals use claws to fight. Claws grow on animals' feet. Claws can be very sharp. Tigers use their claws to fight other tigers and other animals. So over the last four pages, we've read about different structures or animal body parts that animals use to fight. Across your fingers, list some of the body parts you just heard animals use to fight. Go ahead. Right, so you probably remembered we read about horns, beaks, claws, and even antlers. All of these structures are structures or body parts that animals can use to fight. Ready to hunt. Some body parts help animals hunt. Animals hunt in order to catch and eat other animals. Some animals' teeth can be very sharp. Caiman catch prey with their sharp teeth. Some animals' teeth are very long. Some snakes have long teeth called fangs. They use their fangs to catch prey. They bite other animals and put venom into their bodies. Then they eat them. So we just read about another structure that animals use in order to survive and to get food in the wild. Those are teeth. Turn and tell someone next to you or think out loud about what you just learned about animal teeth. Right, animals use their teeth to catch food and catch prey. Some have sharp teeth to catch their prey. Others have long teeth like snakes, and they use these to put venom into their prey's bodies. Some animals use claws to catch prey. Claws can be very long. Eagles have long claws called talons. Eagles use their talons to snatch animals off the ground. They can snatch fish out of water, too. Eagle Some animals use beaks to catch prey. Beaks can be very long. Beaks can be very wide. Pelicans can use their beaks to catch fish. They scoop up the fish in their big beaks. We just read about two different birds, eagles and pelicans, and the structures they use to catch prey. Turn and tell a person next to you what's the same or what's different about how eagles and pelicans use their body structures to catch prey. Right, so one way they're different is that eagles use their sharp claws on their feet to scoop fish out of the water, and pelicans use their long beaks to scoop up fish. So they both can scoop fish out of the water using different parts of their bodies. Ready to scare. Some body parts help scare other animals away. Some animals use spines to scare other animals away. Spines can be long. Porcupines use their spines to scare other animals away. Some animals use antlers to scare other animals away. Elk use their antlers to scare away predators such as wolves. Some birds use sounds to scare away other animals. This raven opens its beak to let out a loud warning. It tells other birds and animals to stay away. Some animals show their teeth to scare other animals away. This baboon shows its long, sharp teeth to warn other animals to stay away. So different animals have different ways of warning hunters or predators to stay away from them. Turn and tell someone next to you or think out loud about four of the ways we just learned animals scare 
away predators. Right, so some animals use their teeth or a loud sound to keep animals away. Others use their antlers or the sharp spines and spikes on their body to keep animals away. Finding spikes and spines. Animals all over Earth have spikes and spines. Sea urchins live in the ocean. They use spines to keep fish away. Narwhals live in the ocean near the North Pole. They use a long tooth to fight other narwhals. Horned lizards live in the desert. They use their horns to scare other animals away. Parrots live in forests. They can use their beaks to fight with other birds. Animal body parts close up. Can you remember what all these animal body parts are called? A. B. So, we just read all about animal spikes and spines. Take a close look at some of these different types of spikes and spines that animals use to defend themselves. Test yourself. Can you name all of these different structures that animals use to protect themselves? Go ahead. So we just finished reading Animal Spikes and Spines. We learned all about how animals use different structures or body parts to help them survive. They use some of these structures to defend themselves, they use some of their structures to hunt, and they even use some of their structures to fight. Now you can turn and tell someone next to you or list across your fingers what you just learned about animal spikes and spines. Great job today, guys. Can't wait to see you next time for our next week's Science Read Aloud with Miss G.